In spite of the unexpected that happened in the theater, the surgery was a success and this was me some hours after the operation. I had already been taken into my room and I had just woken up from a short sleep. Although the anesthesia that was later administered to me had not completely worn off from my body. As you can see, my legs were still lifeless. Although I was completely active, yeah, I had just gotten off from a 30 minute call with my girlfriend at this point. Now, at this point, the anesthesia had already worn off. I could feel my legs and you can see me moving my legs. So I could feel it very well, yeah. This was the evening of the same day. The next morning, the nurse had already come to help me out of the bed and had already cleaned up my body. So as you can see, I already have had a change of clothes and I was advised to walk around a bit if I could as it will aid the healing process. So you can see me just doing my stuff little by little. After I had taken my bait, the doctor came to check on me to check if my intestine and other systems had returned back to normal. So I was asked to complete receiving the to finish receiving the drip that I had on me before taking anything. Like it's more than 24 hours and I have not taken anything. So as you can see, this was around 12.30 of the same of the next day. That is more than 24 hours. And I was asked to take warm water and glucose. At least I needed something down my throat. But I couldn't even take it too much because my system were still foreign to any, you know, outside substance. But I tried at least I took the required amount that could sustain me so this was me taking glucose water and just that was the first thing now after i had taken glucose water after one hour i was given liptin to take liptin and glucose no milk added so everything they said it would aid in the healing process and also to help my intestines we are just back to normal so that was what i was advised to take and after the lip scene two hours later the same day i was given pap to take i actually took pap twice that day to enable me to take my drugs since i wasn't on drip anymore so i needed food to sustain me and to help me take my drugs so i was asked to take pap twice that day before i could take any drug so this was me just taking the water little by little to help me gather strength because at this point i was very hungry like <laughs> and it was funny me seeing the people that were taking care of me it's in different things like i was perceiving their food and i couldn't even like so it was really tempting i had to make do with my this was after i had taken the liptin and glucose like i felt that initial strength and i said okay why not let me just move around a little bit i wasn't feeling any pain at this time as you can see for someone who just had a c-section Barely 24 hours later, I was this at least agile. I didn't know what to expect because not up to 30 minutes after this, after this little exercise I did, oh my God, I started to have serious cramps, serious contractions, like my back, my waist, they were on fire. I thought it was the lip team that did it or what. And up till this time, I hadn't seen my baby girl. She was taken up to the NICU unit for 
just to be sure that nothing is going wrong so no major issue but i hadn't seen her at this point guys my son just came to see me since after i had the baby so i was just trying to keep him company he doesn't understand that mommy cannot carry him now but then we have to be strong for them so this was just me trying to do some exercise just to make sure that my system and my bowel everything goes back to normal as soon as possible as i was advised by the doctor so although i don't know if because i had not seen my baby it's also contributed to the pain but <laughs> i just had to you know Hi now. <laughs> I'm videoing you so your mommy will see you. You're beautiful. Mommy, look at mommy. This is the second day of my CF. Even though it's not up to 48 hours yet. I'm still feeling pains, like I'm just trying to put on a strong face, but I'm still in pains and I'm just taking tea. Yesterday I took glucose, water, um, lip tea and a cam, that is pap. So today, this morning, I was asked to take tea. Then after that, I can eat anything I want, pepper soup, rice, and so on. I've not even seen my baby yet. Like, I've not seen my baby yet. She is at the ICU. And I can't eat, like, three-story buildings up. I can't climb stairs now to go and see her. I've just been seeing her on the phone when my husband goes, he snaps and makes video of her. So I want to see my baby girl. Maybe by then all the pains I'm feeling will vanish. I don't know. But guys. I'm having bad contractions like I didn't experience any contraction when I delivered my first son. His own procedure was so smooth and painless, but this one, I've been in pain since yesterday afternoon. Immediately after I took that lip it was as if all it was as if I entered second level. My waist, my stomach, my ah. I've been in serious pains, but we just have to endure now. At least I've seen my baby girl's picture and I have to be strong for her. Hopefully I'll get to see her very soon. Very soon because I won't be able to climb the stairs. So I, I pray they bring her down very soon. So I can see her and carry her. Like almost 48 hours and I've not carried my baby. It's well. At this point, I was beginning to become impatient. Because I had not seen my baby yet. When the doctor and the nurses came to check up on me. That morning, I asked if I could climb the stairs to go see my baby, and I was allowed. I was told I was told that if my body would permit me, that I could try going, but I should take it little by little. But if my body does not permit me, I should go back, as she would be discharged very soon. So when my husband came that morning i told him like that please i can't wait again i need to see my baby because i was becoming so impatient i wasn't happy at this point so he waited for me to finish eating and we decided to take it little by little now this is me 
going to climb a three-story building, which means we have um, six sets of steps to climb. And I didn't know, I don't know how I was going to do it, but I was just determined that at least little by little, even if it would take me one hour to get there, let me just see my baby girl and be sure that she's fine, you know, that feeling. So I had to gather strength, you know, gather the momentum to <laughs> climb up the stairs. And <laughs> I didn't know how it would turn out. I was so optimistic that, okay, since my body, at this point, my body was physically strong. Even the doctors were complimenting me that I'm doing good, I'm doing well. So I thought I, I would be able to do it. But let's see how it goes if I was able to climb the stairs or not. Although, if I would be honest, I must say that her not being with us in the room, like, it actually gave me that strength, that time I mean to rest, you know, and recover for, that, for the first 48 hours. Because if she was here with me, I know I cry and all those stuff, I would have been forced to always be, be feeding her and all those stuff and i feel it would have slowed down my um recovery process but still i wanted to be with my baby so i set off and i couldn't go through the stairs so i had to go through this slopey area since it would require me just dragging my feet up and I had just climbed only two sets out of the old six. And oh my god, I became exhausted. Exhausted, sorry. I couldn't even breathe. I couldn't move. And I was asked to wait. So my husband had to go get someone to come wheel me for the remaining part of the stairs and that was how I got to see my baby so I was wheeled up and down <laughs> this is not something that is advisable for anyone because no matter the strength you feel you have you can't climb stairs and it's not even advisable but I thank God I was able to see my baby that morning and at least I breastfed her and I was satisfied and happy so after having my c-section delivery on saturday morning this is tuesday morning and both i and my baby girl have been discharged from the hospital So baby girl is finally down and we have been discharged this is the third day we have been discharged she has also been discharged from the nicu so she's sleeping So we are finally on our way home and I'm super grateful to God for the success of everything. I went with my legs to the hospital to have my baby and yeah, I am going home with my baby also. It's not an ordinary feat. It's a, something that wouldn't have been possible without the grace of God. So I'm super grateful for everything.